What is up guys, it's your boy K Slining with a brand new video here on Lego Harry Potter. Here we are. I think it's like part 14 so far. We have to hear them sing, which very beautiful of course. Now we see Lupin there, Hagrid, introduce them. Well, we already know them, but of course it's the first, um, the first few episodes of this year. So it's like them coming um, after a long time to Hogwarts. Because of course Harry comes from home again, from his terrible family. But here we are, and we're going to get into this long, long, long episode. But yeah, first what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mr. Lupin himself, because we're going to be learning how to um, defend ourselves against our <laughs> worst ever fears. So here we get a little cutscene where he shows us how you can beat whatever you're scared of. So here we see that Neville, for example, is very scared of Professor Snape, obviously. So he has to think of something that he would think is funny about him and then do some wizardy shit on him and make him look like that. So here I speed up a little bit, but we're gonna need to shoot four of those blue books. You can see all of them, like you can see me do all of them. As Hermione, I'll be doing another one right now after this, um, after this fear thingy. And then there you go, there's a second one. Then up the stairs, there's another one on the ledge. We will grab that one as well. And then the foot one you will get after doing this bookcase stuff. But of course, once again, guys, tam timestamps are in the description for all the free room and also the level um, objectives and collectibles. But so here we're doing our fear tests just so we can get done with this level. And so we can actually continue on to the next part of this level because obviously we're in, a, we're in for a long one today. So... Let's get straight through this, right? And I'm also speeding up as much as I can, just so you don't have to waste your time watching all of that for too long. But yeah, so there we go. We finished the lesson so we can leave already. And we're going to the second part. Here we see this troll blocking that door because we cannot go through there. But we can actually go and continue to the other side by doing first this fear well, the sphere test again. And then we can grab a key out of that and we can open it up and we can actually go through it. And we can go and continue through to the um, lesson that is actually with the cops that can see our future. But first we have to kind of like just find a way to move those plants because they're in the way. But while we're doing that, we're also going to be grabbing that strength potion here. Just we're going to be doing that after a while. Don't worry. But for now, we're just grabbing as much money as we can. We see the pieces are coming already. So we're putting that piece, those pieces in actually. And we're just going to do that because after doing those those um, those pieces in the pot, we can make that strength potion. And with that strength potion, we can unlock a character token soon. So you'll be seeing that. Of course, once again, timestamps are in the description. So just make sure to check that if you just want to quickly go through it, if you already made the potion or something like that. So just go and check that out if you need it. Um, so yeah, here we just make we find a way to finally open up those plants. We do that and we actually grab the coins there, but we're not gonna go and continue into the level yet. We're gonna first make that potion as I said before. We're gonna then me as a Ron, I'm gonna drink that and I'm gonna pull that lever. Ron takes super long with this because obviously he has to do the little showy show that he's strong. So I pull the lever and there's a few rings that Harry can actually well, fly through but Harry is stuck there so we actually have to do it ourselves but we get stuck in that door so we have to take the other broomstick that's also there in the back and then we can do it and we will get this character token Oliver Wood if you don't have him yet that's how you get him so we're gonna go fly through those there you go we get the character token and we're done and we can actually finally continue through that level so here we see this little cutscene where this teacher of course is telling us well, showing us that you can see a future through some of those cup of coffees. Well, cup of water with some ashes in it. But she, of course, it's Lego. We have to make it a little bit funny. So they make it change into a lot of things. It is pretty specific how that fly actually... Well, if that's a bird, I, I that looks more like a fly. But it's pretty funny how that exactly then um, was there while she made it a bird kind of thing. So now we're finding all those uh, cups, so we're just gonna quickly go through that. There's nothing here that we get from collectibles, so we're just gonna look for some more coins and then we're gonna grab those pieces. 
to make those cups and then we're gonna see a cutscene where we can see our own future because that's what we're looking for of course we're looking for Harry's, um, Ron's and Hermione's future. So that's the second cup and the third cup is here in the bookcase that we will do with Hermione here. So we're waiting for her to finish that one and there you go we get the last pieces we break we make that um cup we get a gold brick of course for completing that but you can't skip that so you already have that and then there you go you have our futures we will see that cutscene where we can see basically how um ron harry and hermione are seeing their future but they're very confused with the future of course although now, the one from Harry looks like an elephant, but she changed it into a dog, which makes pretty much sense since, well, Sirius Black is um, a dog that well, he's looking for, right? Because it's all about him this episode, together with turning into a wolf, turning into a werewolf, whatever, right? So, we are done with that level and we can actually continue. And we're doing we're gonna do this fear level here uh, this fear box and then with that we're gonna get the key that key can we can open that one lock over there which will be uh, for later in the in the free play but for now you can already unlock it so we can do that later on uh, we can skip that later on and we can just go through that uh, to that room whenever we want to so now we're gonna go through that level and we're actually gonna go and um, we're gonna go outside to the um, well the field um yeah so we're gonna go there and we're gonna actually go to hagrid i think it is if i'm not mistaken we're gonna go to hagrid and we're gonna learn how to fly with his um bird well can you consider it a bird it's like a horse bird kind of thing whatever it might be of course there are so, some dementors here just flying around but of course we haven't learned that yet so we can actually not take care of them but they're not like, actually attacking us so we're not in danger so here we go we're at hagrid's place and we're going to be learning how to use this this thing. I think it's a phoenix, but well, whatever it might be, we're going to be able to fly with him. But first, we're getting a little lesson on how he does it, and now we're ha we're supposed to do it ourselves. But the chicken, of course, is uh, empty. Well, the bu the bucket is empty, so there's no chicken. So we have to first go and find our own um, chicken. So once again, speeding this up real quick, going through this level, we're going to get a lot of coins, we're going to be wasting our time a little bit. We're just really getting all the coins and all the stuff that we can find here, so don't really have anything to say here beside that. You can maybe get look, those um, those spider webs that can give something. I think it was coins that they gave you, but I'm not really sure. Most likely, if there's something behind it, there. The stuff will be in the description but honestly i don't completely remember what was um gifted by that or if we even completed it i don't think we do because yeah i was watching through it and i didn't see us getting anything here but you might as well take them anyway because honestly i have mm, i'm not really sure watching this right now while i'm doing this voiceover so here we see actually the first piece, the, like right next to Hermione, there's a second piece of chicken and then um, on on another place there will be another piece of chicken, but we're getting all of those pieces in a second. We're still going for some more money, we're already at 2.2 million, which is obviously very much, but obviously we would like some more, but don't worry about that, free play once again. I said that a few times before in other episodes, but we will be getting a lot more than just a few millions will be getting billions so not really too worried about money after all so there you go we're putting those fishes inside of the water actually if i think if you do all the fishes you will actually get the um you will get some coins there that you can actually grab and then we will grab that last piece of chicken well hermione actually fails to grab that and so she doesn't even try anymore she doesn't even want to be bothered with that chicken which i completely understand it's a really annoying one i i don't know why they always put it like around like with a lot of water around it it's just it's just annoying but there it is in that tree there over there there's another piece of chicken actually hermione tries it piece of chicken once again and it's actually gonna drop it right over there next to the other chicken which we will later on grab both of them and put them on the table where they're supposed to do where it's supposed to be so now i'm taking that 
that piece, one of the pieces actually, and I'm gonna put that on the table there. And then Hermione takes the other one, the second one, and I take the third one. And we're gonna actually bring them to the table, but I actually do end up failing putting it on the table and end up having to go and grab it again. Because, well, yeah, we have to go all the way back to that water, actually make it out there, So, but we do not make it we actually fail that <laughs> i thought that we would make it but we don't and there we go grabbing that piece again and we will be putting that finally on that table so we can actually finish this little side level and there we go we get a gold brick for being able to learn how to ride that horse flying thing and there we go we get this little cutscene where we get the respect of that bird obviously because harry potter is obviously a that natural person at this he does this for a living he'd be learning things like it's nothing i really don't know how you do it i would like to be him like be like him he's just successful in everything he does but hey of course malfoy wants to show off he wants to be the same he wants to be as good so he get he grabs some chicken and just throws it at the bird obviously that's not how it's supposed to be so the, the well, the bird attacks him and he gets scared, but he blames Hagrid for it while he was the one doing all that stuff. Of course, Hagrid has to feel bad because, well, yeah, that's just how Malfoy works, right? So here we are going to continue following that ghost and we're just going to grab those coins still because we're still going for those coins. We still want some more. And yeah, we're just going to follow him towards the next part of the level, which is actually going to be a little cutscene with the wizard with a green hat like that woman, that old woman, I don't know her name, McGoyle or something like that, I have no, yeah, oh. you know who I mean by this, right? So, yeah, that one, uh -uh. she doesn't allow Harry Potter to go there, I don't really remember why, but that's okay, because Fred and, Fred and Fred, I think, oh, Fred and George, that was it, <laughs> Fred and George actually invite us to go with them to do a little side mission, and actually, well, that's going to be our main mission, instead of just being with them because they can see whoever is where and they want to go to that like that city so we're gonna play with Fred and George here for a second and we're gonna actually go and follow the ghost once again who's gonna bring us to the level itself here we get this once again this little well fear box and we're gonna actually open this door for free play later on again so already open that if you want that later on we will be going there when we start doing the free roam stuff but for now we're just gonna follow this little ghost and we're gonna go behind this door here and we're actually going to be starting the level then. Here we get this little cutscene where, well, Harry Potter is in this place where it's pretty scary, but Fred and George are there, obviously very excited to do this because that's what they are, that's how, how they are, that's what they do. So here, if you wish, you could also be already getting those spider webs, but we do end up not getting them. We end up doing a few of them, but we can't find the last one, which is a bit tricky, but don't worry, in free play we do get it and we will show you where it is, so you guys will be able to get it if you don't completely get it straight away with us, or if you don't find it either, just so you know that we will be getting that later on. So there you go, here we will get this little blue man to get that platform so we can move on here in a second. We're just trying to get some more money, but there we go. Harry is actually going to kill that little blue man. And there you go, we can actually make that platform now stand there on that little block so we can actually go and stand on it and actually get to the other side, of, to the other rock. So once we get over those rocks, we're going to have to replace those platforms back to the other side so back we can... We can actually go and continue even further, which we need, of course, for the level to continue. So we put that la the behind block in the back. I tried to jump on it. I, th I think I can make it, but I can't, of course, because it's just not possible. And then we have to put this very heavy weight on the bridge. So the bridge just comes down and so we can actually go and continue on. Here, down here is another, uh, another web. And actually, if you do end up looking down on the right side here, next to the bridge, there will be another one, but we don't see that. So you have to kind of play with your vision, but you can kind of see it on the side. So we actually had to grab it, but we couldn't because we didn't see it, so we just skip it. But if you want to get that already, there is the last one that we don't get in this episode. But don't worry, as I said, in free play we will be getting that. So here we see some here we see this black ball, which is gonna be of of course for some black magic, but we don't have that, so we're just gonna be skipping that. Well obviously, because we have no other choice. 
And then here we're gonna do this once again this fear thing, sphere box. Obviously Harry Potter has to stay away because we don't know how to solve his fear yet because his fear right now is those Dementors because he's pretty scared of that since he got sucked off by one. I would be scared too, Jesus. Literally getting this, the soul sucked out of you. But anyway, we're gonna pull that lever over there so that will pull up the curtains which will actually uh, reveal some faces which will be the senses. So there's the first one, the nose, which is the smell, then we have the second one which has big lips which means the taste, and then we have the third one which is the eyes because he has to see. And that's what we give them, we give them the flowers to smell, we give them the, the, t the cake to eat, to taste, and we, get, we give them the picture frame to look, to watch. Hey. And there we go, they allow us to continue, they will open up a stairs for us, so we can actually go up there and go to the, like an arcade actually, which will be the second part of this episode. So, there we go, we, we do that lantern, but actually our coins fall down. Here we will get grab those two last that we found pieces, but we actually missed a few. As I said, we've actually we missed two webs, so actually you wouldn't even, like if you found the same as us, you might even be behind even worse. Either way, anyways, just wait for the free play to come out later on and then you will be able to solve that one. So we're gonna go upstairs here, we're gonna go to that little arcade candy place here and we're gonna see a lot of beautiful candy, nice tasting candy. I would love to try all this, for real. Nah, for real, I, I really do though. Like, I know I'm sound, sounding very dry, but that's just my way of talking while I'm doing these videos, so I kind of want to keep it that way. I don't, know, I don't want to change it up. But there we go, we put this weight on the um, the scale, so we can actually make our way already through the door, but we're going to just get some more money first before we do that, because of, of course we're only at 7,000, which we... Yeah, we need a lot more. But then I'm starting to make this kid fly. It, I think it has Neville, actually. Ne we're making Neville fly, which I don't know why we do that. I don't even know if it is Neville, but yeah, anyway, we're just shooting every, every random stuff that we can find, but in the end, we're just going to go through that door because there's going to be nothing for us to obtain here yet, since we don't have the spells for that stuff yet. So, in just a second, you're going to see us go outside here, but we're just, as I said, wasting just our time. I'm trying to get all those pets to start moving around because I don't know why. I feel like they should be free to move, but... Yeah, that's candy. That's supposed to be candy, so maybe I take back the words and actually don't want to try this at all. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna go and go outside and we're gonna actually continue on with the level. Which we need to uh, see Malfoy there is already standing next to that very big snowman which we have to actually try and um, break so we can actually continue on with um, the level. So we're gonna shoot these birds that actually are opening up these, um, well, windows actually. And those windows will drop some pieces that we can make into something. Then Malfoy, well, he basically throws this snowball with a snowman to this door, which will, the guy who comes out actually will drop us some fire, which we can use to smelt those um, snow pieces over there and actually get some, um, some planks that we can do some stuff with later on. But once again, we are here first, shooting those birds that they will give us some pieces that will actually be able to make our own little snowman over there. Now I'm just shooting the last one here, it's going to give us the last few pieces that we need. As you guys will see right over there, some other white pieces that we will use for the snowman. First I'm just walking against some, well, air, there we go. George, I think it is. George is actually making the snowman right there. And there we go, we finished it. And we actually break that and actually get a Ravenclaw piece by just shooting that. So, beside that, we're not really getting anything, I think, from this level. So we're just gonna go and continue on with burning those snow places here. So we can actually go and continue on with... Um, using those planks to build ourselves some something that can actually break that big um, snowman over there. There we go. We're using that fire as well to put those uh, planks on fire so actually that snowman is just gonna smelt and once that guy is smelted we can actually go and continue on going into a little cutscene I think it is that will be a fight between us and um, Malfoy. 
And actually will bring us Ron and Hermione back, which we were looking for actually. So here we have this little deer playing and then we start to fight with Malfoy because they're having a fight with Hermione and Ron. We end up having a big snow fight. So here we have to well beat um, we have to beat Malfoy. It's pretty easy, you just have to wait for him to throw like a big snowball which you can throw back at him. And once you throw that back at him, he loses a heart. You gotta do that three times, then he goes into a big machine, which he will then use um, to attack us once again by uh, using bigger snowballs. But actually, that's way easier to counter attack because every single ball he throws, you can actually go throw back. You'll see that in a second. We're doing the second ball here right now. And now we're waiting for the third snowball to come. First, you have to dodge a few. A few small ones here and then once he's done with slow with throwing some small ones i think that's gonna be the last one here he's gonna throw us once again a big one we throw it against his face and then he's gonna like get off that little well trash over there and actually create a machine with that one as you guys will see right now he's creating that machine over here there you go it's like an igloo that he's making that will be a weapon that he can sit in and he can just shoot snowballs at us so there you go he's gonna shoot a big one i think the first one we just don't even realize that we can send it back so we just wait and dodge it but actually we know now that we can send it back so i send it back but then he shoots a bigger one back at us because i, I think for a second that we have to shoot but he ends up shooting a bigger one back so all we have to do is wait for him to throw that well, smaller big one and then the, he shows he even bigger one once again i shoot the big ball so it doesn't even um well, i can't send it back and we fail again and again and again it's it's truly easy though like once i once i understand how it works we're just standing there waiting for him to shoot both the snowballs and there you go once we throw back the big ones we actually hurt him so we have to do that three times as well to kill well to basically destroy the machine as you can see, now that I understand it, I can just stand still, wait for it, the, the snowball to come, and it's pretty very easy. And that's going to be bringing us into another cutscene once again, where we just run away when he just uses this big snowball against himself, and actually, but with that, he like rolls towards this place here, which he will get some people stuck in that snowball with, actually. So we're going to have to give them some... Um, some broomsticks actually to, so for them to go away because now they broke it and actually are in front of the door where we actually need to be so we're gonna we already see one of the broomsticks over there as you can see right next to um the ball already there's one and there's this guy on the broomstick in the air which we actually need to stop but then you see this little snowman in the left over there which we're gonna shoot in just a second which is actually gonna be giving us the student in peril over here as you can hear him scream already there you go we shoot it and we actually save him and there you go we are done with that already of course that will be giving us a gold brick for this level as well so of course that's always a welcome of course and then this red wizard we want to shoot him because he we see that he has this token for us this character token but you can't even get that yet so if you want to shoot them well you can but in the end you can't really um complete the character token so we're here i'm trying to shoot him actually because I didn't realize it as well that you can't get it yet, so I'm just shooting him. And there we go, he sends next to that, well, that basket where there's going to be a snake inside of it, but you need the, well, the spell that breaks metal to be able to break that, so you can't really use it. So we're just trying to get our broomsticks here, as I was saying, just trying to continue on with the level. We're just bre breaking and getting everything, because, of course, we still need a lot of money. We're only at, like, 20... 4,000 something like that and yeah we need a little bit more but there you go we give the second broomstick actually to this ball of snow and then we need one more broomstick actually so we're gonna look for that in a second here we're trying to get that red wizard to give us the token but obviously it doesn't work so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the third broomstick which for a second we don't really find because we don't have a clue where that, that broomstick even could be so we're just gonna look around and then i finally see the broomstick and we're gonna grab those coins and actually go and fly towards 
the snowball actually in just a second. Here we're just grabbing all the coins that we can find because we're still far away from the true wizard stuff but we end up not getting it. We're just gonna bring that broomstick to the snowball. We, we get kicked off and actually can bring it to those um, to the snowball. So they f actually roll, well, fly kind of away. And that opens up the door for us. So once again here I'm trying to get that wizard to give us the token for a second. We're gonna try that again in just a second here. I'm trying to see whatever is here, if there's anything else that I've missed, but obviously there's nothing that we've missed. So we're gonna just go through that door over in a second and we're just gonna end the level here because there's nothing else that we can get. So there you go, we looked around, nothing there. So we tried that wizard once again, but instead of hitting the wizard, Hermione is hitting me. Well, Harry Potter. We we're looking around, there was something else, but nope, there's nothing. So I go finally go through that door and finish the level and here we actually go invisible and we're gonna look around we're gonna see what is happening in this um, cafe place actually so we're going in there in this bar and we're gonna listen actually kind of to what people are saying here we see that there are some dementors trying to get some either get something to eat and to drink but that makes no sense but anyway we see this door actually where does this this wizard where they're talking about Sirius Black who how he's wanted and now we're talking how about he's related to Harry Potter because he has been friends with the family of Harry Potter so we need to warn them because of course they suspect Sirius Black to be a bad guy which might not be the case if you haven't watched the movies you might not know, but for the people who don't watch the movies, they already know what's going to happen. But this is going to be it for this level. We unlock the free play and we get some pieces. That's gross. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. If you liked, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos just like these. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, boys.